This tutorial explains how to generate a GS1 data matrix barcode using the Barcode Label Software Pro. Download and install the Pro version of the Barcode Label Software. Run the application. For demonstration purposes, the application is already running. Choose Create New Label and select Next. In the Printer Selection drop-down, select the printer. In the Label Stock type, choose Define Custom Label Stock. Choose Next. To set the label size, modify the width, height, and margins. Rows and columns can also be used to set the label size. Select OK. Data can be imported as an external data source, such as an Excel spreadsheet, or as an embedded data source using the barcode label software. In this tutorial, let's enter the data directly as a standard value. Left click the data matrix icon. To access the data matrix properties, double click the barcode. Select the data matrix tab. Set the encoding mode to ASCII. Ensure Apply Tilde is checked. Select the Value tab. In the first example, let's encode a JS1 data matrix symbol that has multiple element strings with a single FNC1. Encode the FNC1 before the first application identifier by surrounding the AI within parentheses or by placing a tilde 1 before the AI. Because the second element string has a fixed field, such as a date, it does not require an FNC1 before the AI. Let's encode a GS1 data matrix symbol that has multiple element strings and multiple FNC1 characters. The data includes a GTIN string with a variable batch element string. It also includes a variable serial number element string. When the data is scanned into an application and the scanner is set to decode the FNC1, the FNC1 decode character will appear before the very first application identifier. The second FNC1 appears as a group separator that may be detected using the ID Automation ASCII String Decoder.